We are here at the Ultimate RV Show in Denver, Colorado. I'm, of course, Ian Baker. I am joined by James with Wolf Rig. James, this thing is awesome, buddy. Thank Tell you. me all about thank it. Thank you, thank you. So this is the, the patent. This is our prototype, the very first Wolf Rig that we have, that we've built, named after General Patton from World War II, obviously. Built on a military surplus Humvee. The engine that it comes with in our base line is a 3.9 Cummins engine, turbo, which is 300 horsepower. It's married to the original transmission that's been completely rebuilt. It also has the option for those people who want to have a little bit more power to go to a Duramax. Okay. On the base model with the Cummins, you're looking at 14 to 18 miles per gallon. It's actually really good. Not not too bad actually. Yeah. So it's got a it's, it's got a pretty good range. It's got a 20 25 gallon fuel tank, and we're also going to add a 20 gallon auxiliary tank to it. So it's going to have pretty good range. The actual build time is about six to eight months at this point. A lot of it's actually waiting on the Humvee to be completely built because it's built to order, right? Yep. We designed this thing to be able to pass down to your kids and your grandkids possibly. That's awesome. It's gonna be coming with a 24,000 pound winch on the front and the back. So this is, it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to get yourself out of some pinches. This thing is incredibly capable. It's only 8,700 pounds. People wow. would think it's actually more. It's made, yeah. it's made of aluminum. So all the windows, all the windows have either screen or blackout blackout options a lot of people like to black them out when it's especially when it's super hot as far as like the heater it's got a Wabasto diesel heater that actually goes directly into the diesel fuel tank itself on the inside we want people to come in here and we want a bourgeois experience we've got a hardwood butcher block we've got we've got a deep sink this is a cool little feature this thing can actually go out the window and become a shower if you want to in addition to this shower right here. So we've got a full shower. It's a Laveo dry flush system here. And this, the Laveo dry flush system is a cartridge. You put the cartridge in there and you don't ever have to worry about any kind of a uh, black water tank in there. You basically flush it, it, it rolls, it rolls up your, your uh, waste pulls it down and puts a new new plastic bowl in place for the cartridge. So you don't ever have to worry about it. It keeps the smell inside and it's electric, which is nice. We've got the AC and the heat up here and the production model is gonna actually be a little bit different. This is our prototype. So we're, we're learning as we go on this thing. Wood, wood ceilings, wood walls. We've got a queen size bed over there. We've got this equipped with windows all over the place. And we've got your refrigerator down here and uh, a lot of storage right here, under here. Quite a bit of storage down deep in there as well on both sides. In the production models, we're gonna be coming out with a Pan American version, which actually has storage going across the tops, going, going across the sides here. 60 gallon uh, water tank. The ceilings are going to be two to three inches taller than this one. So we're looking at probably 75 inches. This whole area right here, this is where the electricity is, all the electricity, the hardware. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the actual water tank is right here, but you do fill it from the outside. So um, this is just some seating area right here. And then down here is the cockpit. This, this looks very much like the, the military version um, as far as the cockpit area. Being a prototype, we, we're, we're adding a lot of different things just for show sake in a lot of ways. Okay. But being how solid this thing is, you, you could hang quite a bit of weight off this thing. This, this is seriously crazy. We've, okay. got a, we've got a jack up there just for, I think a lot of it's really just for, for looks, but obviously it's you see awesome. a jack. A good place for track boards maybe. Uh -huh. If you don't want to dirty up the shower inside, you can actually use this thing, it's pretty cool. This is where our hookups are. If you're, if you're somewhere where you can hook up, this is where you fill your water up. There's 800 watts of solar. Okay. And uh, that can also increase with, with uh, whatever solar technology increases too. So we've got the whole space that's open up there. Okay. So, and back here, um, you, can, you can modify this however you want. The buyer could, the buyer could put more, more fuel tanks like this or the bigger, the bigger style right here if they wanted to, if they wanted more range. The, the spare tire, we've got it. Obviously, if you're dealing with 37 inch tires, all of us who deal with these, we know how heavy they are. <laughs> this thing has a winch that'll help you lower this thing down. So it's, it's pretty, it's, it's way easier to get it off than obviously up there. So that's cool. 
And then this is this is for your stove. Okay. Your gas stove inside, your propane. Very so, customizable back here, which yeah, I love. Yeah. James. Oh, 12,000 oh. pound towing capacity too. 12,000? So 12,000, so that's important to know if you're ever hauling, if you wanna buy this, take it to Moab with your side-by-side -side or your motorcycles. This, this could tow it and then you could stay on the BLM land out there and just have a blast off the grid. Dude, that, so. is, that is very cool. James, thank you for taking me on a tour of this. Got so it. excited that you guys are bringing this out. Very excited to see what you guys continue to put out. Awesome. Thank you again, sir. You betcha.